working on a Teo 125. I've done several other videos on this machine. I believe we had a no spark issue at one point. I showed you how to service it. I showed you an overview of the entire four wheeler. And today we've got an issue of this four wheeler not starting. You hit that button, nothing happens. Um, I first thought it was battery possibly, so I checked battery. We've got good uh, voltage there. Uh, second place I went to is a starter switch. Um, make sure that that on off switch was in the correct position. Also, it's got a safety uh, switch on your brake pedal. So you've got to push in, push down your brake pedal or pull in your brake handle. Uh, neither one of those were doing it. So what I did is take a screwdriver and I'll show you once I get this relay pulled off exactly what I did, but I crossed the two posts there. You want to be careful when you're doing that. Make sure there's no gas around. Uh, make sure that you are wearing the proper gear to do that and crossed it. It ended up starting the four wheeler up. It ran good. So that tells me that our starter relay is bad. And again, I'll show you uh, where that is and what that component does. I'll also uh, show you where to get to that starter relay. So I'm going to show you how to replace that quick, super easy job, very, very inexpensive part. Uh, if anything goes wrong with your starting system, you want this to be the issue because it's that easy and it's that cheap. I think I paid $10 for this part. I think I paid $15 for this four wheeler. So, you know, if you can't get the four wheeler running, throw the thing away and buy another one. They're cheap, they're junk, but you know what? Kids can have a lot of fun on them. You might possibly get a good one and it'll run for a while. So, all that to say, we're going to go ahead and replace the starter relay, and I will show you that. If this video has been helpful, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if it's helpful to you. Hit that notification bell so you know when we come out with more videos on the Teo 125. Also, we've got hundreds of other videos on different makes and models. So make sure you check those out. Thanks for watching. All right, this starter relay is gonna be right here on the four-wheeler. First thing you wanna do, pull your seat, disconnect your positive terminal or your negative terminal on your battery because one of the posts on these starter relays will be hot at all times. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish uh, doing this. I can't hold the camera while I do it and I kind of get in the way when I am shooting this video. So I'm gonna set the camera down. Um, you may not be able to see the whole thing there. All right, with the battery unhooked, We've got your starter relay here. We've got a connector kind of up in this area here that's a little bit harder to see. Um, I will show you uh, when we remove that exactly what part we're removing. So set the other post on there. I've got the positive wire, the hot side already on, uh, already attached. Snug, it's a 10 millimeter nut. To pull this relay out, just sits in a little boot. Uh, so you can just lift that straight up. The connector is gonna be the most difficult Thing to get to and we'll get it figured out this is what the connector looks like here so that'll help us figure out how to do it so we got to push down on the little tab there all right we're gonna go up to the front by the shift lever and you can see it there so we're gonna take that and push down on this little tab pull it out that's gonna allow our starter relay to drop and then we'll hook that other one up same way that we took that one apart. So I'm going to take, we actually kind of removed this. This is a little different style cap. The other one had a, um, a cover over the, just the positive wire. This has a cover over the entire thing. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this rubber piece here. You know what? I'm going to leave it on for now because I might be able to figure out a way to put that over top of everything. Our boot stayed on the actual four-wheeler, so we can remove that boot. I'm going to take and set this up top there. Set it inside of our boot. There we go. Take and hook it up. Okay, 10, no, an 8 millimeter. hook our battery up. The other spot that I wanted to show you that we checked was, and this could be potentially an issue as well, right here is your main fuse. So coming straight off of your battery, that is your main fuse. You wanna make sure that that's good. I was hoping maybe that that would be bad. Uh, we wouldn't have to replace that starter relay, but. Okay, what I wanted to show you before I remove that starter relay was take a screwdriver and you wanna make sure that it's got a handle on it that's not gonna be metal uh, because you do not wanna shock yourself, but you can take and run that. You can see uh, just by crossing those, it started it. So 
Cross your post. And I need somebody else there to give me a little throttle there to get it going. So that's how you know that your solenoid is bad uh, or your switch is bad. Again, that could be the switch too. Uh, in this case, it was the starter relay here. I have shot other videos on replacing a couple other electrical components. So make sure and check those out. Again, if you find this video helpful, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I appreciate you guys watching.